Father God, we worship you. Jesus, we adore you. Holy Spirit, we glorify you. Dear loving children of God, in silence let us thank God for his blessings upon each one of us. Let us spend two or three minutes in silence with him, looking at him, focusing our eyesight on him, worshipping and adoring God in our own hearts. Thanking God for his blessings and surrendering all our burdens. Whatever that we are undergoing right now, our tiredness or the sad news that we hear every day or the struggles or burdens or fear or worries whatever the stress, whatever that is going on in and around us and our families, offer to God one after another. Spend coming minutes in silence and worship the Almighty God.
as we spend our time with the living presence of Jesus in this most holy sacrament. Let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings of this day and say sorry to God so sincerely and genuinely. As we recall all the activities of this day, thank God for all the experiences we have received today. All that, that we encountered today, whatever that happened in our personal life or in our own families. Give glory to God all the time that we listened to the Spirit of God and we did according to the will of God. At the same time, let us take the blame of all the time that we did not listen to the Spirit of God. Instead, we depend on our worries and anxieties. We depend on our human thinking. We depend on our own abilities more than God. We believe in Jesus. We believe that our Lord, the Master and Savior, present in this most holy sacrament, knows what is going on in and around us and in this world. As we pass each day, we hear more and more about pain or sorrows or sadness. We hear a lot connected with the difficulties and the struggles. We hear a lot about the burdens and the struggles of the children of God. Our good God knows about it more than we know. A God who is interested for me more than I care for my own self. I remember last week one of the messages in the YouTube channel that I received when a person asked me for a prayer. And I reply to that person, I will pray for you. When I opened the next time, I got a reply. The reply was like this. Father, you pray only for, help me to cooperate with the plan of God. Don't pray for any other blessings on me. Just pray for me so that let me cooperate with the plan of God on me. Dear loving children of God, as we are adore and worship the Lord at this time, I wish this will be a wonderful prayer. Lord, help us to cooperate with your eternal plan on us. Because you know you know the ultimate good of each one of us. As we read in the book of Jeremiah, I have a plan for you. That's not for your harm. That's not for your destruction. But that's for your well-being. That's for your eternal good. Lord, we pray at this time, this evening, Help us, help us to cooperate with your eternal plan. When we hear 
and when we see around the pain and the sufferings of your own children whatever the thoughts that is going on whatever the thinking pattern of our lives we surrender at your feet and help us to say amen to your holy will We believe in you. We trust in you and we know that you are interested on us. You are interested on me more than I care for myself. You looked after me past years. And you look after me today more than I look after my own life. maybe sometime i hate my own behavior sometime i am totally desperate and exhausted but you are always caring for me as we heard in today's gospel leaving the 99 and you were in search of the one that went astray Lord every single thing every single incident that takes place in this world you knew it you are interested on me and you are looking after me more than i look after myself help me to understand this this reality from the very beginning i belong to god and you have given me flesh and you allowed me to live in this planet the beautiful world and the wonderful world and you have given me everything You have loved me to travel on the tough roads. You have loved me to carry all my burdens as you allowed Abraham to carry that big pain for sacrificing his own son on the mount. We trust in you this evening. Praise you Jesus. Adore you Father. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Praise you Lord. Thousands of people offering their tears at this time for different reasons. There are people who could not go to the burial of their beloved ones. There are people who could not travel for an emergency purpose at this time. There are people who lost their jobs. There are people who are really in darkness thinking about the financial status of financial status at present. There are people there are people who are really lonely who have nobody to contact. there are people in different corners of this world have no access to their daily food we hear a we hear very little we see very little but there are there are a lot of things are happening in this world which is which is unheard or not seen on the surface 
there are lot of pain there are lot of sufferings our own brothers and sisters your children lord we surrender a very bit of it on behalf of all those who are suffering those who are those who are not able to lift up their suffering at this time we lift them up to you lord along with the suffering of jesus on the cross we pray for god's mercy on the world we pray for god's mercy upon us we pray for god's mercy upon upon our families all kinds of natural calamities strong heavy rains in different parts of the world all kinds of man made calamities as we hear the increase of the covid-19 patients in Brussels, USA and India. Lord, help us to go every day. Help us to go every day trusting Jesus completely. not because of escaping from our own responsibilities instead trusting god worshiping god ultimately he is the answer to every single one thank you lord praise you jesus worship your god the father thank you holy spirit the one who is guiding the whole world Thank you Jesus our savior who died on the cross all the children who are admitted in the hospitals all kinds of unseen unheard illness and sickness Lord our prayer this evening help us to help us to cooperate with your eternal plan when it comes on us when it hit on our own families help us to take it everything rightly trusting god completely and believing in jesus Thank you Lord. Praise you Lord. Thank you Holy Spirit. Praise you Holy Spirit. Dear loving children of God, offer all our prayers and petitions in silence all the petitions and prayers that you have heard today people who requested to you so sincerely today remember them heal them o lord so that they shall be healed in the name of jesus i am the lord the one who heals you my god will fully satisfy 
every needs of mine according to the richness and glory in Christ Jesus. I have come so that you may have life, life in abundance. continue to offer all our prayers and petitions especially the elderly people with their old age difficulties people who are in fear people who are with excess worries and anxieties especially everyone who has the pain and the grief of the loss of their beloved ones Hallelujah Jesus thank you Jesus praise you Jesus we believe in you thank you lord thank you Jesus praise you Jesus voluntarily worship the lord wherever you are at this time surrendering our struggles and the struggles of thousands of people as god created each one of us to worship and give glory to god in midst of all our pain let us worship god not only just using or moving our lips worship god from our hearts thank you lord praise you jesus thank you holy spirit praise you god lord we adore you we believe in you we trust in you thank you jesus you are listening to each one of us right now You know our hearts you know our minds thank you lord we have a heart that a heart is for the glory of god we have a heart that a heart is thirsting for the love of god thank you jesus praise you jesus glorify you jesus adore you jesus thank you lord praise you lord let us all kneel down as we are entering into the moments of benediction keep this prayer in our heart and mind lord help me to cooperate with your eternal plan you are interested in me more than i care for myself you look after me more than i look after my own self because i am your child You are with me when I stand. You are with me when I walk. You are behind and before and you are above. You are with me. And my life is in you. Let us sing together. Down in adoration and prepare ourselves to receive God's blessing.
let us pray. Lord our God, in this great sacrament, we come into the presence of Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the Virgin Mary and crucified for our salvation. May we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy, drink from it the water of everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Blessed be God in His angels and in His saints. Amen.